So the adventure begins. So in the process of going to Birmingham, United Kingdom, um, my flight, my flight from uh, Kansas City to Chicago, that was delayed. So they bumped me to a non-stop flight to New York. So that was a three hour flight, more like two hours and 20 minutes. Then from there, I'm gonna head out. Um, arrived like at 3.30 something, I don't know. I've been here for about a few hours. But it was like about a five hour delay at the airport. Then I leave at 6.30. And then going from here to there, non-stop flight for, they said seven hours and 45 minutes, I believe. So it's a long flight, but I enjoy it because my life's so crazy that um, I like to use it to rest and recover. So other than that, I'm gonna show you and keep you on track of this trip to the United Kingdom, competing at the 2015 UK Body Power Pro. Okay, so I pre-boarded the plane. As you can see, um, it's empty behind me for now. I do not know how many people are actually going to be on the plane, so um, it is 6.03 p.m. right now, and the flight leaves at um, 6.45. So they board about 40, uh, 50 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour beforehand, you know, depending on each time, but um, I'm here, I'm ready to go. Now it's a non-stop flight into Birmingham in the United Kingdom, which I'm excited. I'm really, I'm really thrilled and um, I'm excited to get some rest, sleep, and just do some thinking about everything and the experience, and I'm going to share it with you guys. Much love. Okay, so it is about an hour and 40 minutes into the flight and um, I passed out. I was asleep for the whole time. Um, I'm exhausted. But, uh, you know, with the time remaining, then I do a lot of thinking. I may work some, stuff like that. But uh, on the airline, they give you like a little TV and movies to watch. And you can see in this monitor, so they show you how much time and, you know, what time it'll be, what time it will be when we get there. See, so like, the line local time of destination is 1.42 a.m. So, that's what time, you know, we get there. Estimated time, 6 o'clock in the morning. Shows a little map. And each flight, uh, each passenger has a nifty little uh, TV thingy to watch. So let's have a look at this. We got new releases, action thrillers, classics, all this other stuff. So this is the new releases. What do we have here?
different. And I like it. So I'm heading to the hotel right now and I'm going to get ready and um, I'm probably going to eat and then pass out. <laughs> it's um, from my hometown. It's six hours difference ahead of time. So um, 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, my time is like 7 o'clock p.m. in UK time. So right now it's like 2 o'clock in the morning in um, American time, my time. So um, that's exactly why I need some sleep. Red light and it can't hear. Voice may be heard. So really not. But look at that. It's a big old crack. I'm sure you can't hear me <laughs> with that big crack. <laughs> so I'm finally in my hotel room. Right now it's about 4 o'clock in the morning in my time. And uh, 4.30 my time. And I left at 8.30 a.m. my time. So I'm going to travel about 19 and a half, 20 hours. I don't know, roughly. I'm extremely tired. I slept sometimes on the plane. And um I'm exhausted, but I'm blessed to be here, and it's an honor, but it's worth it. Anyway, I'm gonna go pass out now. This is my final workout before I compete, and I'm gonna just finish my contest prep. But I'm gonna give you a look at what the gym looks like that I'll be training at. They actually have this nice little uh, universal, you know, multiple pool unit right here. Got some treadmills inside there, is a swimming pool. Some more cardio equipment. Look at the dumbbell rack, and it goes up to um, 20 kilos. What is that? That's about 44 pounds in America. And also a leg press. <laughs> we won't be using that today. <laughs> so back in the states, um, a lot of like areas, if they don't have an elevator, they have a portable lift, and they're all like crap. But here at this hotel, I ran into this lift right here. It was one of the most fanciest, well actually it's the most fanciest I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to show you. Check this bad boy. I got to press the button. Back up, trying to do this. Handy gives down. So what I this, this is like high, like high tech stuff. <laughs> oh, Going up. I guess I gotta press it and leave it up. Look at that, super high tech. Oh, the door, back, my wheelchair went backwards. I almost fell backwards. Going up. <laughs> Thank you. We'll call you Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when I came, they had a button over here. Oopsie. Oh, Press the outside button. So this was the lift I saw when I came in. There's the stairs, and this is the lift that I just like, man, it's super clean, it's super nice, it's super fancy, and it looks high tech. So how I got out of it, I reached over this thing, and actually, because you can't just open it. It's a safety lock, but as soon as you press the button, it unlocks it. So I reached over there to press the button to open the door. And what you just saw there is actually really nice. And it just shows you that a lot of people, I know in the States and other places, they say like a lot of places are not handicap accessible and blah, 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 all this crap. But you know what? You know, it's like just trying to adjust to things and to make it work. And you know, we are a you know, cultural society. So not everybody's adjusted to everything. So instead of complaining about it, just make the best of the best situation possible. And with time, with evolution, with awareness, things can get better like what you just saw. And that's the whole point of bringing awareness and expand on this on a global basis so be patient and if you want to make change change within yourself first and then make a difference throughout the community one little bit of thing can make a big difference and go a long way you just got to believe and stick with it and be true gotta shave <laughs> ho, 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 ho. so that concludes the day I'm all shaved up because I'll be um, finishing up everything in the morning 
because I'm going to um, ship again one time before uh, Friday and hit the stage, but I'm ready to do my thing. I'm tired. I'm asleep. So everywhere you see, you will see plugins like that. It doesn't matter what device that is. Plugin. There's a plugin, and there's actually a little switch like right here. This turns it on and off. So there's not only that you plug it in, but you can actually turn on and off the <laughs> the plug, which is actually smart. Even over here, you know, this is the Ota, but they get a vending machine for products. Over in the states, they have these too, but there's some universal converters or universal plugs for you know your iPads and so forth, your plugins and LS and just batteries and so forth. Just in case you forget something. Okay, I'm here at the athlete meeting. It's about to start, so and all the pros that are going to be competing Friday and Saturday night, they're actually here too. And it's still filling up. Uh, the meeting starts exactly at eight o'clock, and the IPB is very strict about people being late and so forth. So you can see it has rooms filling up and stuff like that. And I don't know exactly what's all going to go down, but we're about to find out. So after this, I'm going to do final touch-ups on the tan. I already got kind of paid base coats, but we're going to get all ready and show time soon. Alright, I'm at the bodybuilding.com booth here at the UK Body Power, and it's like, the, it's been non-stop. Today is Saturday, one of the busiest days, you know, the venue shows, as you can see, the, the people behind me and everything like that. It's going to be, a, there's going to be 80,000 people going through here, and uh, tonight at the night show, it's a sold out, it's at 1,700 seats, but this is probably going to be people standing on the sidelines watching because this is going to be a huge event. This whole, the, the, the line has been non-stop today at the Bodybuilding.com booth. As you can see down there, it's about uh, local time, about 2.30 in the afternoon. It's just going non, non, non-stop. That's how we do it at Bodybuilding.com. And for now, we've got a few more hours and I'm going to go ahead and wrap up for tonight. So, I've got about an hour and a half before I take off to go get my tan and get ready to do my thing. All right, we're backstage, wax I'm on the stage, and the night show's about to go on, and I just wanted to give you a look, you know, about, you know, it's like, can you see yourself competing? And do you really want this type of lifestyle? So this gives you a first-hand look at what it is to be a competitor. So this is where we take it. And you get to see Hold on, let me unlock this. This is what you get to see. No pressure. It's 7.30 and the show starts at 8, so I'm gonna finish up. And everything's flooding in right now. So this concludes the expo at the 2015 Body Power Expo, and um, it's been a long weekend, crazy weekend, and um, <laughs> it was amazing. It, the, the only difference is like when you come to a different country, it's the time change. So like uh, eight o'clock is when you start at eight o'clock or say nine o'clock. Sometimes it's like five, uh, like two o'clock in the morning back in American time. So it's like a, a graveyard shift, but it's, it's a truly amazing, a blessing. And this weekend was crazy. It was nonstop from beginning to end. And the fans and the people, it's just truly amazing over here in the United Kingdom. It truly is an honor to be part of such an amazing event. And, you know, the competition last night was truly a blessing. And overall, I'm just overwhelmed with, like, just everybody's gratitude and the fans and people. I just truly love this lifestyle and just everything about it and uh, you know coming here it motivates me and inspires me to better myself for the next you know the next projects and the ne next events and the next you know expos that I do as well as competitions. It takes my career and my vision and my training to the next level because seeing so many people here you know, trying to better themselves and it's what they love really, you know, really impacts me on a different level and I, I actually need that to just reinforce everything that I've been working for, so 
to everybody that's watching this and um, you know, for the future. You know, thank you for all the support and much love because it's, you know, I do this for not just myself, but to inspire, to impact, to make a difference in you guys' lives as well. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm out. So I just got done finishing watching the video that I just got done editing and putting it together and I realized a lot of the stuff that, um, you know, I needed to film. But at the same time, it's very difficult because I'm in a different mindset of competing at the show and, you know, being a champion. And when you're doing it yourself, when you're doing video logs and videoing, like, making videos this isn't the thing that's on your mind, but when you're editing later, you realize that you missed a lot um, of footage. The more of the expo, more of the competition, more of these scenes. Because when I saw the stage, I was like, wow, this is amazing because many people don't see that. So, I'm going to do a lot of things differently the next this time around this weekend as well as further expos as well as further events and other further when I travel because it was really cool to see how I put it together and I'm excited to bring you guys a different perspective and a different look of when I travel and when I do events and expos because I realized a lot of people don't get the chance to see that or experience that and I want to be able to, to provide that content for you guys and take a first-hand look into a professional speaker as a professional athlete as a fitness you know ambassador around the world and um, I don't know I'm just gonna do things differently now and um, hopefully you guys enjoy it Wheelchair Athletics Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that provides and supports disabled athletes. Please support our cause. Volunteer, donate funds, mail items for the eBay store.